everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you special characters in Python, and I'm also gonna show you an example of a random password generator that includes special characters. So I'm gonna put my glasses on as usual, and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect, so we are in PyCharm. I am currently on an old laptop, just because my new laptop is currently updating a few things. That is why it currently says Python 3.7 down here, but ordinarily we would be coding in Python 3.8. So as I have already said, we're going to be looking at special characters in Python and we're gonna do a password generator example. So a random password. I'll just put in here random password. And as usual, we're gonna import the relevant modules. So import, very importantly, we need to import random because the whole point is we're going to be doing a random password generator. So that's all the relevant modules that we need for this video. And now I'm gonna move on to show you special characters in Python. So that is the only module we need to import for the random password generator, but I'm just gonna show you how you import special characters. So I'll just put here, imports special characters, i.e. punctuation. So all we type is from string, import punctuation perfect so this here is just going to import the punctuation so special characters and that's all we need to do in order to get special characters so what we're going to do is we're going to create a list with all these special characters in and you may be wondering why it is that we're doing that the reason is because then when we go to create a random password generator we can take this list and we can pick a certain element from that list and then add it to our random password so first we're going to create a list as i said we're just going to call it special characters cars for short this you could make this you know a smaller variable but just so we know what we're talking about here i've put special characters okay and then what we're going to say is a list of punctuation okay so what this is doing here is from it's saying from string it's going to import all the punctuations here and then all we're going to do is create a list of all that punctuation so i can just put print special characters okie doke and then when i press run here we go i'll just run this up slightly this is the list of all the possible special characters that you can have in pycharm and in python cool so we've got this list and i'll just get rid of this print now we no, no longer need to print it now what we can do is obviously we need to take this list and we want to take elements from this list but a very handy thing to know is how many elements there are in this list so all i'm going to say is print the length of special characters and this is going to print how many elements are in this special character so we'll click run there we go 32 so this means there are 32 elements in the list okay perfect so now we have this list of all the punctuation we can set up a random password generator as usual so i'm just going to put here example and i'm going to put random password generator with special characters I don't need to put them in we'll do that with special characters there we go i was capitalizing every word there in, in it and i realized that we'll just keep these capitalized because that's what we're going to be doing so with special characters so we'll set it up as before i have done another video on my channel talking you through the random password generator setup but i'll just re-explain it in this video as well to show you how we can add capital letters uh, lowercase letters and special characters as well and this video was actually asked by somebody who commented on one of my previous videos so that's what's inspired this video so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the variable password to be an empty string okay so what we're going to do is we've got this variable it's an empty string so the idea is we're going to take this empty string and we're going to add lowercase uppercase letters and special characters into it so we'll say for i don't know let's say for let's say for i in range let's say five so this is going to loop five times. We're going to let A equal the characters of random dot randint. And I'll explain what this is doing in a second between 65 and 90. Okay, so what this is doing here is A is being assigned to a variable that is a character between the range 65 and 90. So you may be thinking, what does that actually mean? And what I'll show you is if you just take the character and you type in, I don't know, let's do a random number between 65 and 90, let's say 77, and I print this, we'll click run, it gives us the letter M. So what happens in this character is you can get a character from Python um, by writing character, C-H-R, 
with a number and if you input specific numbers in here it will return a specific letter so here we have the letter m so essentially all this is doing here is it's giving us a random letter so this gives a random and it's uppercase letter and that's what that's doing there so a is going to be assigned to a random uppercase letter um, and 65 to 90 is basically all the uppercase letters in the alphabet now we're going to do the same for lowercase but we're going to so we'll copy all this so notice this is going to produce an uppercase all you then do is you just put dot lower and that will create a lowercase letter so i'll just put here produces a random uppercase character slash letter and i'll just get rid of that hashtag there and then here this produces a random lowercase character slash letter okay and you're probably wondering where this is all going but i'll explain it once we get to the final few steps so now we're going to say produce a special character and what we can do is we can take our special character list here and we can index it so what we'll do is we'll say c equals the special character list and we're going to say random dot randint between zero and 31. Now the reason we do that is we know there are 32 elements in the list and so 0 is the first element and 31 is the 32nd, 32nd element. So what this is going to do is it's going to take a random number between 0 and 31 and it's going to index it in special characters so it's going to produce a random special character. Now all that's left to do is take our password which is an empty string to begin with. I'm going to make it equal to password now I know you can simplify this notation, but because most beginners watch my YouTube videos, I'm just going to keep the notation um, as simple as possible, just so you understand what's going on here. So password equal password, and we're going to say plus A plus B plus C. Okay, and now I'm going to print the password. So what's happening here is we've got an empty string, so there's nothing in this string, it's empty. And then for I in range 5, so this is going to go around 5 times, it's going to loop around 5 times, we're going to say, okay, we've got a random uppercase letter, we've got a random lowercase letter here, and we've got a random special character. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take our password, which was an empty string to begin with, then set that equal to the empty string, or whatever it was previously, plus A, B, C. So that's going to add 3 characters to our password, and then it'll loop around again, so our password there will be with three characters and it's going to take that password and it's going to add three more characters so then it will have six characters which it may seem a little bit confusing understanding loops it's, it's very difficult to understand loops but once it's clicked in your head it does make a lot more sense so i'm just going to run this python file whoa cool look at that all right nice so what's happened here is we have uppercase lowercase so we've got uppercase lowercase special character uppercase lowercase special character uppercase lowercase special character and so on and so forth so run it again okay cool every time you run it you get a completely new password each time to finish off i'm going to show you how you can shuffle the password you have so it doesn't follow the structure so let's say it doesn't follow uppercase lowercase special character structure okay and all we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to make an empty string here, say dot. Now that's something to mention, empty st strings can either be with quotation marks or they can be like that. So if I run that again. And I just hashtag out what I wrote. If I run that again, you get exactly the same. So that's just something to mention. So this is how we shuffle it. So we're going to make an empty string. We're going to say dot join and we're going to have a random sample of the password of our password so that's going to be our string which is here we've highlighted and we're just going to put the final argument in here is going to be the length of the password so if i run this and i'm going to just print this first because we obviously want to print it and i run amazing look at that it's completely jumbled up what we had there to begin with so this is how you can shuffle the password that you have so you don't need to follow the specific uppercase lowercase special character structure it's just a way to shuffle the password which is really really cool so that is how you import 
punctuation, how you have special characters, and also how you make another random password generator with special characters this time. And then finally, how you shuffle the password that you've created. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all in the next video.